Hello, I'm Johnny Chadwick from Collins. Today we're going to talk about a change out on the K bases and the G bases. These are used on some of our corporate chairs, and we're going to get Matt here to help us take this one off the pump first. And the first thing you need to do is pump the chair all the way up. If it doesn't pump up, you can just pull it up. And then there's four bolts that attach the, the seat casting to the seat bottom. And what Matt's going to do is he's going to alternate tapping on alternate ones until it comes off while I hold up on the chair. So Matt's going to give me a hand here. Thank you, Matt. All right, so now that we have our seat off, one of the things we want to talk about is the label on the bottom of the chair. This is the sales order number, which is important information if you're calling in for warranty information. And this is also the chair's style or model number. This particular chair notates that it had the K base. There was a very few of the 8181s that was made with a G base, and we're going to go over the G base here in a few minutes. But right now we're going to do a swap out on the K base, which is what we have now. So I set this aside. We have our new cylinder. It comes in just like this. You need an Allen, metric Allen wrench. The uh, screws that hold the treadle in are four millimeter. You're going to unscrew these set screws. Work its way out. Set it aside, you're going to need that. Turn the pump over. You notice we have two nuts here on the bottom. They are technically 13 millimeter, but you can use a half inch drive or socket on most of them because 13 and a half is really close. But you're going to loosen these two bolts. You'll reuse those. You're going to reuse this cap. Just remove the old pump. Take the little decorative chrome cap off and reuse it. Install this back on your base. Snug these down. Put your trail back on. Now the trail goes across the pump. If you put it in this way, it won't work. So you notice that the, the shaft is behind the pump. And it should have the set screws already installed. Snug those down. And you just replace it. Now you're going to put your chair back on, chair top back on. Just note the orientation of the pin, and that's where the notch and the seat casting will go. Make it easier for you to pump it up a little bit. Here's our notch. Turn the chair around. Make sure the notch is engaged properly, and then you're good to go. So now we're going to talk about the G-Base a little bit. Pause, let's pause it for just a second. Okay, as we were working on earlier, we started out with a K-Base. Also, some of the chairs were shipped with a G-Base. So this is the G-Base. There's not very many differences in the G-Base. You take it off of the chair the same way. One of the minor differences is you may have to remove this old roll, this old roll pin to reuse it in your new pump. If you do, take a quarter-inch bolt, uh, this is also demonstrated in one of our other videos and just take a hammer and drive this roll pin out if you need to reuse it now to take the treadle off it's a four millimeter allen wrench to remove it remove the two set screws the treadle will come out just like we did on the k base the one big difference is underneath you're going to need a six millimeter allen wrench and you see that this one has 
these little socket head Allen head bolts, you'll remove all of those and then take this pump out and your new pump will look like this. You'll put it back in and restart the bolts. Uh, there's not any particular order to it, but uh, put the treadle back in and then you're good to put your chair back on top of it. So again, this is Johnny Chaffin from Collins Manufacturing. This video was on the G and the K base cylinder replacement. Thank you.